So now we have our handler, let's go back to our user controller and add the method inside there to register a user. So this is also going to be a HTTP post. So we'll add the HTTP post and this time we'll specify register as the additional root and we'll say public async task and once again we're just going to return an action result of user and this time we'll just say register and we'll specify register dot command and command and all we need to do in here is just say return await mediator dot send and we just pass in our command and we should now be able to register users to our application so let's head back to Postman and we've got several tests inside here to check that our register method is successful. And the first one, if we take a look inside the headers, there's nothing going on here apart from the content type. And in the body of the request, we've got all of the properties, the email, username, display name and password for a new user with an email address of sally at test.com and the username and display name of sally. And this one should work successfully and what we should get back is that user object with the token. And let's just click send. And sure enough we get our 200 OK response along with the user object and the properties inside there, including our token. So that one works fine. And if we take a look at our register user with a validation error, if we take a look inside the body of this request, we're missing the display name here and if we click send on this then we see the error and the display name that must not be empty so that's fine let's try and register a user with a duplicate email address and if we click on the body of this request we can see that the email address is for one of our users that already exists which is bob at test.com so this should fail with a 400 bad request. So let's click send. And yep, that fails and we get our errors with the email already exists. We should see the same thing for the duplicate username. And in this case, it's the username of Bob. And the email is unique, but Bob is not unique. So this should also fail. And if I click send, then yep, we get the 400 bad request. No surprises so far. And there's another test as well to try and register a user with a weak password. Now I mentioned before that this isn't possible because our default rules for the ASP.NET identity requires complex passwords. And if I attempt to send a password with just a string of lowercase characters, then this won't work. And if I click on send, then we get an error saying problem creating user and this time it's a 500 internal server error and we shouldn't be sending back 500 internal server errors for validation problems we should be sending back 400 responses but just to make sure this is a validation problem because this isn't enough information to work with this tells us absolutely nothing about what really went wrong so let's head back to our API and I'm just going to open up the terminal window and you should always come here. If you've got a 500 internal server error, you always want to come and check the terminal because this is where all of the information is going to be. So we get our stack trace and that's great, but it doesn't give us the information we're looking for. And what we're looking for here is the, is the fail and we see our server error information along with the problem creating user but if we scroll up a bit further then we see a warning here and it tells us that password validation failed and password requires non-alphanumeric it requires a digit and it requires uppercase but this is buried inside our terminal window and what we really want to do is is validate this request properly so that we do check to make sure that they've provided this information before we attempt to create a user. And that way we won't send back a 500 internal server error 
we'll be returning back a, a 400 bad request due to a validation error. Unfortunately, Fluent Validation doesn't come with a password checker. So we're, what we're going to need to do is create our own custom validator to do this. And we'll take a look at that next.